In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a combination chart that has overlapping bars on one axis and a line on the other. So in Tableau, I'm just going to go ahead and connect to the coffee chain sample data set. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag date to the columns and I'm just going to set it to the quarterly level. Maybe we'll make it continuous quarters and then let's go ahead and make these discrete. From here, I'm going to go ahead and take sales and put that on the rows. And I'm going to take budget sales and put that on top of the same axis to create a combined axis view. So the next thing I want to do is I need to decide what I want to have on my other axis. So let's say we want to look at the inventory. So I'm going to take inventory and drag that onto the secondary axis. From here, I'm going to go ahead and synchronize. And on this axis, I'm going to right click on it and change the mark type to a bar. The next step I need to do is I need to take measure names and put that onto the size shelf of measure values. And you'll see that these are piled on top of each other now. So we need to go to analysis, stack marks, and turn that off. Okay, so now you can see that our, our budget sales is behind our sales, but we want sales in the front. So we can just reorder those on the measure value shelf. And then let's double click on our size shelf and make sure they're not reversed. So the last thing that I would do here is probably change my sales and my budget sales to both gray. So let's make sales a darker gray. Make budget sales a lighter gray. And we can leave inventory red. And there you have it. The last thing I might do is go ahead and hide my field labels. So that's how you create a combination chart that has uh, overlapping bars on one axis and a line on the other. And if you don't want them synchronized, if it doesn't make sense, you can just unsynchronize them. So that's it. Hope you have a great day.